At WWDC 2017, Apple unveiled the latest version of its macOS operating system, dubbed High Sierra. This new version isn't as much of a departure as the last version was, it's more of a refinement than anything with most of the impressive work going on behind the scenes, but there are a few key features you might be interested in. Some of the biggest changes in this latest update come to Siri, Apple's personal assistant. She's just as capable as before. She can still search for files and get directions, but now she can also spy on you while you listen to music. If you have an Apple Music subscription, she can learn your preferences and suggest albums and songs you might like in her new, more human voice. I like whatever you like. As opposed to her old voice, here. I'm happy listening to your music. There are a lot of small changes here. Safari gets a few tweaks, so does the new Photos app. But for the most part, a lot of the big changes you're going to see happen behind the scenes. Deep in the darkest corners of your Mac, Hi Sierra disassembles and reassembles your files with a brand new file system called APFS. Okay, so what does that mean? APFS does a lot of cool stuff with your data, from modernizing file indexes to supporting single and multi-key encryption throughout the drive. But for the most part, what you're going to see is that your Mac is faster, it's going to be more secure, and it's going to be ready to handle up to 9 quintillion individual pictures of your cats. Like I mentioned earlier, Hi Sierra also features a revamped Photos app, which is now even better at recognizing your human friends and family, but still neglects your other friends and family. Despite a notable lack of feline or canine facial recognition, the new Photos app features new filters and editing options, but nothing that's exactly groundbreaking. For instance, now you can create memory slideshows for all kinds of special events and activities, just like you can on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So overall, macOS High Sierra has a bunch of new features for developers and a revamped file system for future-proofing your Mac, but for most users, there's just not much here. Of course, you still get it when it comes out, it's free after all, but just don't be disappointed when you realize that it's just Sierra with an extra adjective. Oh, and Siri has a new icon.